exercise without weight, without some kind of resistance, doesn't do you much good. And that frankly, our standards for the past 30 years, 35 years, uh, have focused very heavily on a set of skills and abilities that we want kids to develop, a number of you know, actions that we want them to be able to take. We want kids to be able to draw inferences and draw conclusions and make comparisons and do all those wonderful mental actions while they read but with no attention to how hard does the text have to be, how much weight has to be on the bar. The <laughs> these standards change that. They specify an amount of weight that has to be on the bar in grades two through 12. They specify how difficult the texts are that students need to negotiate. Now, in some sense, that's the easiest thing in the world to do. All we have to do is buy some different books, right? I mean, that, would, that solves it. Now we have harder text and everything will be fine and we can move forward. Except it's not that simple. It's much more complicated than that, it turns out. And so, you know, specifying weight is important in this case, specifying these, these difficulty levels that kids have to learn to accomplish but doing this changes, frankly, the entire conception that underlies all of our reading instruction. It changes all of it. We have, for a very long time, at least a couple of generations of teachers, we have conceptualized reading as being a set of skills and abilities that if you learn to fire off those different actions, everything is gonna be hunky-dory. That's something that even people who say they're not real skills oriented apparently have bought into when you look at their write-ins and, and what they have to say about reading. And I would suggest to you that when we set text complexity as this, this standard as the way we have, we re-articulate reading as not being just some set of static skills that you've got to master, but it's much more like teaching somebody, say, to climb a mountain. 